Shalom, Ami Asherah, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles of great millstone and citations unto the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the elect men, women, and children. And um, I'm going to read this. It says, This is bad. This is bad, right? Things is getting bad in this society, right? Because um, we're not talking about rumors of wars, we are seeing wars on earth. Right, we're not seeing talking about pestilence and famines. We're seeing these things, right? Because you got this new pneumonia plague that's attacking motherfuckers in China. Right, they're filling up hospitals with little kids. Right, one thing about Moab, they got that system that is so weak due to them eating so filthy, so filthy, right? So, um, you got a society that everything is going according to what biblical biblical plans, biblical plans, and more um depression and more despair. And more people not knowing what to do next. We know what to do next. Continue to put our trust and faith in Yahweh. Uh, Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right? It says, this is bad. I'm tired, boss. Exhausted from struggling. And picturing a better world. I have given up. I have given up. Have you given up on the world? A lot of people have given up. A lot of people have given up. And the thing is, um, shit, fuck this world, goddammit. This place is a wicked society. We're not here to continue to keep Esau in power. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. Right? Because our power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is about to destroy this system to bring in a new system where dwelling what righteousness. Let's get that. Let us journey to Ecclesiastes 10 verse. We're going to start at verse 3. It reads, An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority the cities shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh, the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. Right? And who's that he's going to set over this earth? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Through Yahweh Shai, the Israelites get to prosper. The earth gets to breathe. Right? We get to go back to the laws and statutes that's good to the souls of man and good to the, well, souls of Israelite men and good to the um, earth. Right, get to the earth, and the earth finally gets to breathe and gets to grow and gets to replenish itself. Because under Esau's authority, right, Esau's filthiness, which you got all these different um, bad weather patterns just causing chaos everywhere. Esau drilling, causing earthquakes, right? Esau's pollution causing fucked up weather patterns, right? Esau pollution in the oceans, killing off a lot of animals and fishes. Right, this man is not profitable to the earth. I'm reading it again. An unwise king destroyeth his people. You see, that's why you got these heathens. Their people are destroyed. Right, because they have unwise kings. Their kings are not dealing with the wisdom of the Bible. They're dealing with the wisdom of man, right? They're trusting in arms. They're trusting in their witchcraft. And they're trusting in themselves to rule over their people. And that's why all these countries' money is what? Collapsing. That's why the so-called white men then invaded all them other heathens, right? And it says, An unwise king destroyed through his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the what? Is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. And that's what we're waiting to see. The return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to get set back in authority. So he could rule, <laughs> rule, right? And that's why we're not shaking at the events that are currently taking place on the face of the earth. We're not fucking afraid of no goddamn global warming, right? It's supposed to be bad weather patterns in the times we're living in. We're not surprised at all these homosexuals, LGBT, and all these different bugged out spirits, and all these crimes, and all these murders, and all these killings and robberies. We're supposed to be in them times, right? Because you got wicked people in fucking rulership. You got wicked people around right now. We in the days of Noah, right? Just in the days of Noah, motherfuckers eating, drinking, bullshit, and causing trouble. In the same spirit. That's why the Lord's going to creep up on their ass. They ain't going to see our Lord coming, but we know. Isaiah 33, verse 6 in the reading. Wisdom, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of thy and strength of salvation yeah if you don't got the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures that's what the prophecy that warned you about the things to come 
So when it do come, your ass gonna be shook. You gonna be fucked up. Oh my God, what's going on? No, it's gonna be too goddamn late. It's gonna be too goddamn late, right? Because the Lord is all about what sealing. The once the elect get sealed, that then the end gonna come. And this gospel get preached out through the four corners of the earth, and the elect get sealed. That's when it's the end of this society. And we're close to that time, right? Close to that time, this devil's about to implement this RFID chip, man, because he already see the collapse of his physical currency. That dollar has not too much time left, right? Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure, man. We're putting our trust in the Lord. Fuck with, fuck, fuck with these people with the earth talking about. That money you trust in. Yeah, man, I got money, man. I'm going to be able to get away when them times come. I got my guns, man. We got a group of people, man. We, we got our own land somewhere, man. You ain't got nothing. If you ain't got the fear of the Lord, if you ain't got this wisdom and this truth, if you are not the elect, you're in trouble. Yeah, you're going to be in trouble because the Lord ain't going to hear you. The Lord ain't going to see your destruction. He's going to send people to bring your destruction, right? Because the Lord is going to be behind these killings, right? It says Psalms in 34 and 17, it reads, the righteous cry. And the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saved of such as be of a contrite spirit. Right? The Lord ain't just saving anybody with a broken heart. Right? You got to be a man of the Lord with a broken heart. You can't just be a motherfucker of the earth. I'm talking about I'm tired, boss. I'm exhausted, boss. I'm struggling. I can't pay the bills, boss. My wife ready to leave, boss. My kids don't respect me, boss. What should I do, boss? <laughs> boss is going to tell you, maybe you should kill yourself, sucker. Right? Because you are a sucker if you're still stuck in this society trying to please the people of this place. Right? You are a fool. Right? You should be trying to please the Lord, like the scriptures tell you. I'm going to read um, Psalms 34 and 17 again. The righteous cry, and the Lord hear it. And they and deliver them out of their troubles. The Lord is nigh to them that are of a broken heart and said, saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Because the scripture said, What? Through much tribulation shall you enter into the kingdom of the Most High. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Right? It ain't going to be, oh man, this is going to be fun. It says, They shall scarcely be saved. Right? So we already know this ain't going to be no play times when the Lord start turning things up even more than what it is right now. Matthew 11 and 28. It reads, come on to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for rest from what this hell, right? This place of punishment, this place of torture, <laughs> this place of fucking despair, right? This is what it is for a man of the Lord. I'm reading Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him, and he shall what? Direct thy paths. That's why these people are going to continue to go astray, because they don't know the Lord. They don't acknowledge the Lord. They don't believe. <clears throat> right? It's hard for you to be saved when you're not dealing with the power that can save you, when you don't acknowledge the power that can save you, when you're not looking for the power that can save you. That's what we're looking for. We're putting our trust and fear in your heart. Psalms 23 verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. <laughs> thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Right? These people are shook out here. Like they are shook. But we ain't worried. Right? We ain't worried. We know exactly what the Lord going to do. He's going to do what he said he's going to do. He's going to destroy this place and the wicked up out of it. <laughs> The two thirds, they gonna die in this land right here, man. We don't give two fucks, right? This is the time of judgment, like the scriptures say, Proverbs twelve and twenty five. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stupid, but a good word maketh glad. We got the truth. We got the truth. Can't nothing take away our joy, cause our joy is in the Lord. See, these people, joy was in the world. Now that they world is collapsing, they're <laughs> they're losing it. They're losing it. They thinking this is it. Right, a lot of them actually they think when they, they die they're going to hell. They're going to hell. I'm not gonna live such an evil life when there ain't no hell. <clears throat> right? Hell is the grave when you die. Hell is a condition that you live on earth. Right? There's different forms. But there's no place where you go and burn forever. 
because you play no place where you go and burn forever. But there is going to be a hell for the Edomites when they come back on earth and serve the punishment that is written in the scriptures a thousand years. And not just um, Esau, Edom, all the heathen that are called. Right? That's time when the Lord's going to turn the things, turn the tides. It's going to be bad for them and good for us. Revelation 21 and 4 says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Not everybody's eyes. From whose eyes? The Israelites' eyes. And there shall be no more death for the Israelites. Because why? We only died because we sinned. So we're going to be immortalized. We're going to be turned into, um, how can we say, gods. Like the scriptures say, going to be changed. It says, Neither, so neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, right? Can't, can't nobody fucking touch us. Can't nobody come up against us. They won't have the strength of their weapons. We're going to go around the earth burning up, right? They idols going to be brought to nothing, right? They ain't going to have no fucking strength. And we're going to put these people in captivity. That is the future. That's how come I don't understand these punk-ass Christians, white Edomite Christians in the church talking about the heaven. Can't wait for the kingdom. The kingdom's gonna be beautiful. We all gonna be living together in happiness. Shit. Where the fuck you get that shit from? You done made some shit up. You crackers done made some shit up. And they know, they know that ain't the truth. They know ain't that the truth. They know somebody, they know about, that's why they don't talk about the children of Israel in the church. You notice that's a topic they do not speak about. The children of Israel in the church. And they know the Jews in Israel ain't the children of Israel. Right? It says, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. It's talking about the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are what passed away. Yeah, say goodbye to this world.